In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a tax ledger is not specified error in a tally prime. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. All right, so that tax ledger is not specified error usually appears when you're creating a GST compliant transaction like a sales or purchase voucher, but tally can't find the relevant tax ledger linked to the items or the transaction. So in order to fix this, we need to create or verify GST tax ledgers. So make sure that the following tax ledgers are created in your company. So what we need to do is to go to gateway of all tally, accounts info, ledgers, create. And now you need to name it, for example, CGST at 9%. Under duty and taxes, type of duty tax, GST. GST type, central tax, percent of calculation, 9%. And now you want to repeat the process for SGST, IGST, etc. with appropriate GST types and rates. Now you want to assign GST details to items. So go to Gateway of Tally, Inventory Info, Stock Items, Alter. Select the item under GST Details. Make sure HSN code is filled. Applicable tax rate is filled. Select Set, Alter GST Details. And then enter CGST, SGST or IGST percentages. Then now we need to ensure tax ledger is added in the voucher. So when recording a sales or purchase voucher, press F8 for sales or F9 for purchase. After selecting party and items, ensure you add the tax ledgers below the item lines. This manual links the tax to the invoices. And then we need to check GST configuration. So go to Gateway Tally, Features, Statutory and Taxation. And now we need to ensure the following enable goods or service tax, yes. See alter GST details, yes. Enter the correct state, enter GSTIN, set a applicable from date. Then link the tax ledgers in accounting inventory vouchers, which is optional. So in case you're using a classification like sales ledger or purchase ledger, you can also link tax classes. So alter the sales purchase ledger under GST details, assign tax rate and nature of transaction. Tally will auto apply tax based on this linkage. And then from here, we need to use correct nature of transaction. So in sales purchase ledger or during voucher entry, set correct nature of transaction. Tally uses this to determine which tax ledger to apply. Now, final tip, if you're still seeing the error, check you're using GST compliant vouchers, not a journal voucher. The item is taxable and the place of supply matches the correct tax type.